welcome back again today we're going to be looking at a Kohler Courage and I'm going to show you the first thing that you should look for if you're looking at anything to buy that has this engine in it now this here is a nice old Cub Cadet the date on the engine is 2007 so you know it's like I don't know 14 years old if my math is right somewhere around there 17 years old maybe but that doesn't matter this was at a repair shop and it came to me instead of going back to the customer and uh, in a minute here we're going to see why that is and why it's not repairable and what you should look for when you're looking at anything that has a Kohler Courage single cylinder engine. So here we can see the Kohler Courage 20. They came smaller. They came in 19, 18. I think they even came in 17 horsepower. And the first time I came across one of these engines, I believe it was in a Cub Cadet similar to this, had about 90 some hours on it, had less than 100 hours on it. And the tractor actually had, I think a snow blower on the front, but the engine had less than 100 hours and it had all kinds of problems. You know, it had the obvious thing that we're gonna get to, which is what most of them have as their last fatal problem. So most of the problems are starting under this cover here. And these screws are already out. Most of them were already out when I got it anyway. So there you can see description. The twin cam engine. Not that that makes any difference. So on the first one of these that I ran into that had less than 100 hours on it, these engines have a top cover here and on that one these bolts were loose and they were loose to the point where they were rubbing the bottom of this flywheel and the flywheel was loose the uh, the keyway was worn out so the flywheel was rocking back and forth making noise and since these bolts were loose that led to the main problem that happens to all these which is right there so everybody does videos on these color courage and I'm going to get to the point fairly quick. But I've seen videos where they talk about the problems with the carburetor. Those can be fixed. They talk about this cork valve cover gasket leaking. That can be fixed. You know, they talk about this gasket here, the, how the bolts come loose a little bit and it starts to leak. That can be fixed. The crank seal starts leaking on the bottom. As long as the block isn't damaged, you know to the point where they ran out of oil you can put a new seal in those things can all be fixed but the main problem the thing that puts these out of commission is right here in this corner okay what happens because of the, the twin cam and the vibration that happens inside the engine and the, the design flaws that are in this the way they're the way they're engineered the way they're put together even you know they probably don't put loctite on all these screws here like they should but even if they did right here in this corner right here this is what happens okay they crack right here because you got the piston going back and forth putting stress on this corner and you have a cam in there. So this is a, a very high stress area right here. And uh, you have this cover that goes on top and you have some bolts right there. But uh, when these come loose, the top of this block is thin and you got a stress point right here. You have a stress point right here with the piston trying to push this back and forth with compression and everything. So what happens is they start to crack here, especially if these bolts get loose. But they crack, and the crack goes down underneath here. And this one feels like it stops right about there at the edge. But when this is running, the oil splashes around and starts to run out here. So then the oil starts running down. And you might only see a little bit, but it'll be steady while it's running until it runs out of oil. 
this cannot be fixed this is this moves while it's running it, it'll run with this crack till it runs out of oil but it will run with this crack here I have had ones that ran and you have to keep oil in them but this crack is only going to get worse this one they probably ran out of oil before the crack went any farther because you don't really see it that's why it's important to check your oil before you start it every time because this could happen and you don't know it and all of a sudden the next time you start you're going to run it for another hour it's already really low but this here cannot be fixed doesn't matter what you try you know you can try aluminum welding that it's not going to work this is not regular aluminum it's it's made out of chinesium is what it is so all those other problems on these engines you know the valve cover the carburetor mounting problems the carburetor problems those can all be fixed so with this engine this engine was put in a lot of different things i have never seen one in a green tractor but these yellow and white ones they used them a lot the red ones from toro they used them a lot mtd which is this one uh, they put them in everything Husqvarna, the orange tractors. I've got really nice Husqvarnas over the years. The customer says, oh, it stopped running out in the yard. You open the hood, there you go. Kohler Courage. And you come over to this side and you show them, th this one has oil laying right there. You show them this is what happened to it. Once in a while I get one of these where something else happened to the tractor before the engine. I've sold a couple of these over the years that still work that weren't cracked yet and I sell these with a disclaimer this engine has a very bad reputation and if you take this home and you do any research on this engine you're not going to be happy but right now it's running and it's a cheap tractor and you need to get your grass cut and this will do it no life expectancy on this engine at all so if you're looking at a riding mower, this is an older one, but it doesn't look bad. It's a nice tractor yet. If you're looking at something and you open the hood, and it looks like that underneath, turn around and go look at something else because these just are not good. I've had them less than 100 hours and they were bad. I've had these that had 400 hours on them and they weren't cracked yet and they still worked but if i sold it i sold it with a disclaimer there's don't expect anything out of that engine and i've seen them with 300 hours but they were cracked there's no there's no way to know how long they're going to last now i've seen comments on other videos where they've lasted 15 years they didn't really say how many hours were on the engine but there's a chance there's a slim chance that there's a couple good ones out there and if you have one you should play the lottery because you got lucky so if you do happen to have one of these in your tractor right now after you've already fixed some of the other problems you know you have a, a weekend afternoon I think they're eight millimeter heads on these screws you know it's a few of these screws around the top cover and you take out the oil filler the oil cap there and the cover comes right off take your 10 millimeter wrench and go around and make sure these are all tight you know i would say take them out and put loctite on them like these here you can put you can get to those you can take lock put loctite on those to get to these two here you got to pull the the flywheel off if you're mechanically inclined that's not a big deal but if you do have one of these Kohler Courage single cylinder don't let this V here fool you it's a single cylinder it's got one spark plug if it was a V twin there'd be a plug over here and a plug over here if you have one of these and it still works tighten up these bolts every once in a while check them maybe twice a season just to make sure that they're not coming loose because I really believe that that happens first. Now these were all tight, but they could have been tightened up after that happened there. 
So if you're looking at buying something that has this engine in it, it's not a good idea. If you have this engine and it's not cracked yet, make sure those bolts stay tight. And it will definitely prolong the life of the engine because I really think that that's usually what happens first. And if they are tight, you're good. You know, you did what you could. Keep oil in it. And if it cracks, well, just add it to the list. So, you know, hopefully this will help you if you're looking at, you know, almost anything in the last 15, 20 years. This is over 15 years old. You know, Toro, any MTDs, these Cub Cadets, which are made by MTD, Husqvarna, the orange tractors, they look nice, but they, a lot of them had this engine in it. Be careful, do a little research, get to know what you're getting into before you before you spend the money. So if you think this is helpful, hit like and subscribe. It'll help me out. And it'll help out everybody else.